study done by Cambridge University in the United Kingdom and this is important because it plays out various kinds of scenarios about when they think uh, the virus will peak in India, by when will a recovery of sorts start, what they think needs to be done, what is their view on whether there's need for another lockdown after this 21 day period. So here's what the researchers at Cambridge University have put out in a new paper. The world's largest lockdown of 21 days. But a study by Cambridge mathematicians suggests the three-week restrictions may not be enough to contain the novel coronavirus in a country as vast and as unique as India. The study by Rajesh Singh and R. Adhikari is based on a mathematical model of India's social contact structure, the country's cohesive units known as joint families. And it is this unique structure that may cause the virus to behave differently. The study warns of a transmission among three generations in a typical Indian household. If the 15 to 19 year olds become the most prominent carriers of coronavirus, their grandparents become the most vulnerable to mortality when infected. With typical Indian joint families identified as a potential channel of transmission, the Cambridge model warns of a possible resurgence after the 21 day lockdown. The Cambridge mathematical researchers therefore suggest two separate versions of the lockdown. The first being the three national shutdowns for 21, 28 and 18 days, each split by a gap of five days. According to the Cambridge academics, this strategy may bring down infections to less than 50 by mid-June. Remember, international health experts have also warned of resurgence after initial restrictions. What we don't want is to get into a situation where you have a lockdown, then you lift it, then you have a resurgence, and then you have a lockdown, and you have this endless cycle. The second strategy, as recommended by the Cambridge study, is tougher. A straight 49-day lockdown, which it says may help reduce infections to less than 50 by mid-May. But the Cambridge theory is not cast in stone. The study follows a set pattern of social contact behaviours in countries that applied lockdowns. It ignores several other parameters and interventions that may alter the course of transmissions dramatically. The paper caveats that all models are wrong, but some are useful. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I'm sure you all have heard, according to India Today, the news from Cambridge University experts. So what do you think? Comment below. Do you think um, 21 days are enough or they're not enough? Comment below what you think the government should do. And even as you are commenting below, I hope you are taking care of yourself. I hope you are taking all the precaution measures i hope you are sanitizing and i hope you are practicing social distancing remember this virus is like a chain the more you stay in home the lesser it spreads so comment below what you think of today's video and also subscribe to this youtube channel for updates i shall see you in the next video